AM Sports Report brought to you by Buffalo Peak Golf Course. Take a trip out there, Union, man. They got Dana's got it going on. Um, it's you know it's getting to that season where there's not a lot of golfing, but you can still go check out the pro shop. He's done a great job in there. The selection is great. Buffalo Peak Golf Course. Meet me at the peak. EOU Volleyball lost a heartbreaker last night, three to one in the semifinals of the national tournament. I'm just gonna say this: they did not play their best game of the year. Um, they they had a lot of unforced errors, which is not typical of an EOU volleyball team. Um, but the thing is, is, is they made it this far again to the semifinals two years in a row. That means they're the top four teams in the country. And, and Khaki and this EOU uh, volleyball team are super impressive, and they've shown that they can play with the best teams in the country. I mean, the reality of it is, is they went 34-2 and two this year, and that's, that's, a, that's a heck of a record. I mean, they're playing in a really tough conference with Corbin. They beat Corbin three times, including the CCC championship here. They were the regular season and the tournament champions. They went to Hawaii and, and beat up on everybody over there. It's just been a great season for EOU. Indiana Wesleyan and Northwestern are played tonight for the national championship, and I don't think EOU's done. I think we're going to have... I, my prediction is we're going to have two girls on the all-tournament team. Uh, sophomore Kira Vaughn, who had 27 kills um, in the quarterfinal game. And then Sade Williams, who's in her fifth year. She's a senior. And she, I mean, I think Sade will be a first-team All-American this year as well. And, and so we'll find that out tonight after the game, who makes all-tournament team. What a great year for EOU Volleyball, though. Um, hats off to them. They they just they were fun. They made it fun this year. I mean, bench warmers was packed last night. The local was packed. McKenzie Theater was packed, and all those people were watching EOU volleyball. It brought uh, community together. It's, mm -hmm. it's a great thing for Eastern Oregon. And hats off once again to them. It was a rough weekend for EOU men's and women's basketball. Um, women's basketball lost to OIT on Friday, 68 to 67, and Southern on Saturday, 68 to 42. EOU women's basketball is picked to win this conference too, and they they dropped both games on the long road trip this weekend. Men's basketball lost to OIT on Friday, 84 to 74, and turned around and lost to Southern on Saturday, 61 to 57. They both played this weekend, Saturday, in Caldwell against C of I. I think the women tip off at three mountain time, men tip off at five mountain time. And this would be a, quite a bit more important game for men's basketball if, if C of I hadn't have lost twice already because C of I was number one in the country hmm. and, then, and then number two. And then they've lost twice. They lost to Southern because they're EOU's travel partner, so they flop. And they lost to Southern this weekend. So, I mean, it's still a big game. There are, there are you know, rival. And, and anytime you play Kobe Blaine and, and the, the, that C of I team, you want to beat them. I mean, it's just how it is, <laughs> really. Um, let's see. EOU men's wrestling. They beat Evergreen State on Saturday in a duel. And then they went to Clackamas on Sunday for the Clackamas Open. They placed six wrestlers in that tournament, including two champions, Braden Carson, mm -hmm. Grand native, who's a three-time state champion, and Kyle Knutson, who is the EOU's all-time leader in pins. Uh, so let's get Benny. There we go. There's Kyle. Um, yeah, and, and, and I mean, Kyle has a chance again this year at a national championship. He's, he's one of those guys on EOU's rosters that, that's going to make a run at the end of the year. LeGrand Boys Basketball has started the season 0-3. They play Skyview in Idaho tonight at 7 p.m. And then they turn and then the girls have started off 2-1, which is a little better. They 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 got wins over Nyssa and St. Helens. And then they lost to Clarkston, Washington. That, that Washington team that they played, Clarkston was a really good team. I think they scored 84 points against us or something like that. 74. Um, and, and that's a lot for a high school girls game. Anytime you get up into the 70, you're talking pretty, pretty big points. Um, the girls team plays Thursday night at six in Fruitland, uh, big wrestling tournament this weekend in LeGrand, Milenburg. Um, it's a huge one and it's always exciting. 
for Legrand and for the Legrand Wrestling Programs. We're going to start wrestling Wednesdays next Wednesday. It'll be part of the sports show. We'll bring on Clell and Dustin Azure, the Legrand coach and the EOU coach. And we'll just talk everything wrestling uh, every other Wednesday. And that, that should be fun. Yeah. So the morning sports report brought to you by Buffalo Peak Golf Course. Meet me at the peak.